Some developing news this afternoon. A convicted felon accused of shooting his girlfriend in the head. It actually happened last night at a home in Woodbridge. This afternoon, the man who police say pulled the trigger here went before a judge. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane is live outside New Haven Superior Court with the latest details here. Matt. Oh, hi there, Mark and Stephanie. Well, today here in court, the prosecutor called Ray Sosa a danger to society, noting his lengthy criminal history, including prior weapons charges. Now, Sosa made his first court appearance today here in New Haven. He's charged with assault, risk of injury to a minor, criminal possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, and prosecutors say more charges could be added. We're told Woodbridge police were called to a home on Raymond Street just before 8 o'clock Thursday night for a reported shooting. When officers arrived, a woman identified in court today as Sosa's girlfriend was outside the home with a baby. According to court paperwork, the woman was bleeding. She had been shot in the head, suffering from a graze wound. The baby was not injured. Now, police determined the 49-year-old Sosa was still inside, refusing to come out of the home with assistance from state police. Along with New Haven and Seymour police, Sosa eventually did come out and was taken into custody by Woodbridge police. In court today, the judge issued a full no-contact protective order and ordered Ray Sosa to be held on $750,000 bond. This defendant's convicted felon, as we've heard from the bail commissioner, he already has prior weapons convictions. Uh, the state believes that people like this defendant are a danger in our society. Now, today in court, we learned that Ray Sosa has a lengthy criminal history, a number of convictions. We're going to dig into that coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 5. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. All right, Matt.